Hey hi, welcome to the part 3 video of creating a device backup tool using the Telnet Live, date, time and OS modules. If you haven't yet seen the previous parts, I have left the link for them in the description. Please check that out. Also the slides and program codes used in this video is also available in the description as a link. Ok, let's get into the video. Let's create a backup, another uh, variable called as backup name. In this backup name, what I am going to do here is, uh, so we have to give the complete path for where the file, whatever we have saved here, right? In the file, the backup file is now saved inside this variable called as backup and where we have to write this file, right? We, are, we, need, we need the path. So that is what we are going to create in this variable, the path where it has to be written. So, so the actual path, you know, right? You remember the path of the folder with the date as the name, which we created at the start of the program. And then we will add in a slash and we will add the host. Okay. So plus host plus let's have a space here plus start date time or current date time okay so the file name will contain the time also okay and then we will add dot text we will save the file as a text file basically let me write it out here so what this will be doing is slash home slash if you remember the path right the path is something like this correct so path is this so this is the path and then what did we do like uh, we created the folder say example 2020 hyphen the 12th month date one and then what are we doing we are adding a slash to it slash and then what are we doing we are adding the host ip so what it will do 192.168 say for example 192.168.122.10 and then it will add a space and then it will add this is basically concatenation it will add the current date time now so what it will do the date is this and then the time so it will be in hours minutes and seconds format so let me write like this just for example i don't know what time it will be executing on and then it will be like this so this whatever you are seeing on the screen right let me zoom out a bit so so you see here now i have a complete working directory including the file name so if i pass this on this is where the file will get saved i mean inside this folder with this name so that is why that is what i'm preparing in this variable that is what i'm preparing and saving in this variable to be exact okay this is what will be happening in the back end when the program gets executed then what i will be doing is i will open up the file this is the file name correct so backup and then we will open it in write mode so even if the file is not there it, it will be automatically created we'll open it as file and file what we are going to write into the file is the backup this is the backup the telnet session backup we will write it into the file I think we are done for this. I think this should be enough. So let's let's just test it out. So let me go to my terminal. So guys, we are in the terminal and uh, we are in the right path where our program is available. So let's see. So this is the Python script. Let's copy the name and execute that. You see a device IP list created and then 
the uh, path is joined and it also shows us the backup is completed for the device you see uh, we have completed only for devices dot 10 and dot 30 because uh, dot 20 is intentionally kept down to show you guys how this uh, error handling happens in our program so you see you will not be able to ping dot 20 okay let's go back to our atom so guys we are back in the atom text editor so let me expand the project panel if you see here now earlier there was not there was no folders available now a folder named 2020 7th month date of 12 that's july 12 is created and let me go in if you see now there is two files two text files one with name of ip 192.168.122.10 and the date on which it is created and the time on which it is taken and similarly a file is created for 30 let's just quickly open them and see what is inside so dot 10 if you see let me collapse this panel again so dot 10 if you see we have the show running configuration backup similarly dot 30 we have dot 20 obviously it's currently kept down so let's go back to our pi script and let's just note this backups logs it's still empty right yes we haven't done anything so far in terms of back logging our program correct so let's try to do something uh, it is basically our own interest we can either do this or don't do this this is totally optional okay so i am going to do some so let's open the first thing first when the program starts right to execute so look this is a backup program so like uh, we will execute we may execute the program at day every day or every week it depends right so every time the program starts to run so we will first create a log in this backup logs file and i am going to open that in append mode okay so that the earlier configure earlier logs will not be deleted everything will be just appended so i'm just opening it with a random name i'm going to use logging here so what i'm going to log here first so logging dot let's write what we are going to write so we are going to write uh, so for if to before we start any log right for a program execution we'll just have two space so that we will be able to identify the difference and then let's write like a program started for the day at what time it started right date time dot now and then we have to give a slash in this is very important so that uh, everything will not get up under in the same line okay and uh, let's do one thing let's just copy this so that we can uh, copy and paste this wherever required right and then at what stage uh, let's do one here say after the device ip got created right the device ip list let's open the backup file again and then write the device ip list there okay so let's write like device ip list is created and what are we going to do here uh -huh, no this one so device ip list write down the list completely in the log okay let's copy again uh, next where can we put this mm. let's do this here right when in case if we see that already the path is available and uh, there is an exception happening what we should be doing right mm. instead of just printing the error what we will do let's have some space here so instead of printing the error let's make the error more descriptive right with along with time so 
so let's first do a date time now this basically means the time which the error happens right and then just like this let's have something like this and then can can't create uh, the error the actual error this is the error okay error plus this is very important we have to give a new line okay and then let's print this during the execution that is also important for us now let's open the backup log inside the exception when the exception happens in case the exception happens we will open the backup log file and then what do we write inside the backup log file right we will write the error itself right so we will write the error which we have called saved here error variable we will write it into the backup log next where else we can have this where it will be good to have we will pause here guys and we will continue in part 4 the i button is there for the part 4 link and also check the description for the links to all the parts of this video thanks for watching like share and subscribe let's learn together